All right. Hope you have all installed and tested your databases and reporting services. If so, let's go ahead and create something very simple. Let's use an inbuilt wizard and create a very simple report. This will give you an overall feel of how a report is developed and how a report looks like in SSRS. In the coming lectures, we will use more manual and traditional methods to develop the reports. And we'll also look at some of the tools and controls that SSRS provides. Okay, so I have opened Visual Studio. I will go ahead and click on new project. The next thing what I want to do over here is create a report server project wizard, right? And this is so that it just fires up the wizard. And I am going to call this as my first report and click OK, and it will open up a wizard for me. So once you click Next, the next thing what you need to do is give some name to a data source, right? So I'm going to call this as first data source, and then you can type in a connection string or click on Edit, and you can use this wizard. So if you remember, the instance that we created was called localhost, and the instance name was SQL 2016, and once you do that, you can go ahead and click on the database name. And if you have installed AdventureWorks database correctly, you should see that listed over here. Once you choose that, click on test connection and you see that the connection succeeded. All right, so we have actually configured our data source. So basically we are saying that whatever this report needs, whatever data it needs, it is actually in this particular connection string or in this particular database that this connection string points to. All right, wonderful. So let's go ahead and click next. And here you can actually go ahead and type the query, right? The query which should output the data into the report. And to keep things more simple, what I'm going to do is I am going to click on the query builder and then choose some tables. So this icon that I clicked will just add a few tables, whatever you choose, um, into this query designer. So to keep things simple, let me go ahead and choose a table. I will choose say sales territory and click add. So you see this actually went ahead and added a table. You can definitely add more tables over here join them and do whatever you need. But let's just keep it very simple now. In the coming lectures, you will definitely know how to do a lot of these things. All right, I'm gonna close this. And the next thing I want to do is, I'm going to select a few columns that I need from the table to be displayed in the report. All right, I think we have enough columns. So you see that it starts generating this query and you could actually run this query if you hover over the exclamation mark, you will see run. And if you run that query, it's going to actually return a few rows. And it's precisely these rows that we are going to output to a report. All right, click OK. And then when you click Next, it's going to ask you a couple of more questions, whether you want a tabular, you want a matrix, Again, don't bother too much about these things, right? We will have separate lectures which just talks about tabular, which just talks about matrix reports and so on and so forth. Okay, let's go ahead and click next. And once you do that, I am going to add a couple of fields to my displayed fields, to groups and details. So don't worry too much about these three sections, you will slowly come to know as and when you start developing the reports. Once you click next, there's a couple of questions on the overall table layout, whether you want a blocked approach or a stepped approach, whether you need subtotals, and then click next. And then, you know, it kind of summarizes all these things. So I am going to call this as first report. All right, so you see a quick summary and then you can preview the report and click finish and it will create a report for you. OK, 
okay and this is the report that it created observe that there is basically not not much of formatting and stuff like that we will go through separate lectures on that but the interesting thing is definitely you can you know look at the report using various pages so while we are here i'd like to walk you through a couple of things um, a quick view on the left hand side you see the toolbox and these are some of the tools that we will be using to create a report uh, there is also a server explorer where we will see how to connect to different servers on the right hand side is where you will see a couple of folders over here which stores your data sources data sets and reports so when we create our first manual report you will see all this in action but i just wanted you to know that these exist out there again you can collapse or expand or you know pin or unpin any of these windows and that's pretty much it so congratulations you have created your very first report now you know somewhat about how the whole ssrs looks like and we will also look at how to deploy reports and stuff like that in the coming lectures thank you